Did you know guys that Moscow has its own Sakura Park? I honestly didn't know that until yesterday. So today I decided to come here to Birilova Forest Park to watch uh, Sakura blossoming in Moscow. And this is very cool. It is Wednesday afternoon and it is very crowded in here. I feel a little teleportation to South Korea or Japan. Beautiful flowers, beautiful people, beautiful dogs and babies. It is such a happy place for me. It is very smart to bring here small stalls with uh, snacks and water. Because the amount of people coming here is just insane. The blossom is going to last only for a week, so... Oh, another cute dog. Some of our style. It's very nice. Yeah, so this is very cute. A little big park. It's not little, it's huge. Actually, it works not as normal park. It's more like a botanical garden where you can meet very rare um, trees and plants. And it was created Ooh, such a huge stage there. It was created to kind of work with different plants uh, to make them get used to a hard Moscow climate and then put the baby trees around uh, Moscow. <laughs> Sorry, my English is a little bit broken today. The park located in the south part of Moscow. It's a remote district, Birilova. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching me from Birilova. So, my way back is going to be in the bus because no metro in here and then uh, go in more than one hour in metro and I have to change one and then yeah, <laughs> so follow me guys. I'm going to have a nice comfortable ride in a bus full of Russian babushkas. This is ours. Very huge bus connected in the middle. The bus works very easy with any Russian bank cards like this. <laughs> bus brought me back to the metro station, so I need to know, it's very like the average suburban area uh, with electrichka and here is a big new market I want to go inside uh, and check what's there This is not a shopping mall this is just a market. Ooh, that's so nice. It smells like food in here. So nice. Wow, look at this different honeys. It should be so delicious. I'm buying homemade cottage cheese. Uh, she gave me to try and it's very delicious. The smell here is just insane. Look at this delicious pickles. I am hungry right now. This cottage cheese cost me two and a half dollars. Very big bag. I think uh, in supermarkets you can buy less delicious and more expensive. So I prefer to buy this. Look at those loaves, they are just giant. They are massive. Wow. This shop will not make you healthy, but trust me, it's very nice because Russian people have a tradition to drink a lot of tea, so 
That's what they buy when they enjoy their teas every day. From city to know, I will go all the way up here and have to do a layover in the Nama. Face biometry. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was so fast. Big head of Lenin is meeting us in the Moscow Metro. It's a very busy station. All people are going to the I don't like the green line at all because it's an old line and it's very loud and noisy and you just get tired when you are there for more than five minutes. So this is Dinamo station and I will show you how we will get to the new station from the old part of uh, Moscow Metro to the new part. I like uh, Moscow Metro as a transfer because the people that you can meet inside the metro, they are so unique. Sometimes they look like they came from the book. This is it, shiny and huge uh, transfer corridor that will bring me to metro line number 11. I will cook dinner and I forgot that I need to buy carrots and onions so I will show you local supermarkets We will go to the bad Russian supermarket and it's called Dixie I don't like the supermarket because a lot of Gopnik guys go there and people who want to buy alcohol for example and a lot of babushkas who want to save money so when you look like this, cute and nice all people will look at you there Our life in this district is constant renovation so here they build in very nice river walk and this one is a new construction they are fixing something underground so I'm going to the post office because I need to send a postcard to one of my subscribers imagine when they will finish it we can have a very nice real walk and we can go to the new districts over there 
and over there but now we just need to hold on and wait Thanks God, uh, not so many people right now here because waiting time in a Russian post office is just always 30 minutes, one hour, oh my God. Sometimes it work really bad. Uh, and yeah, I don't like this specific post office place because it's very small. We usually only one or two people are available here. Это открытка, внутри там ничего нет. И адрес uh, United Kingdom. Thanks God, I came in the right time. The post office was very efficient today, so I sent my postcard very quickly. Today I'm trying new fitness uh, for a trial day. It's called DTX Fitness and it's kind of a competitor of the club where I go. So today I will decide whether I like it or not. Everyone is like flexing the arms. So guys and for girls flexing their bodies <laughs> you know what I mean yeah I hope you enjoyed spending a very productive day with me here in Moscow. Not every day I do such productive things. Uh, very often I'm very boring. I just spend a lot of time doing something in my computer. That's it. So you can find all useful links down below in the descriptions. It would be so cool if you can become a sponsor of my channel and support my job with a little dollar, you know? But if not, of course, it's all great. The best support you can do is actually just leave a nice comment, uh, press like and share this video with your friend. So also you can watch other videos on my channel because I have a lot of them. So guys, thank you so much for being with me. 
today and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye!